Pilates therapy is using the Pilates technique in a therapeutic um, way. Pilates itself is just using, um, we would use equipment, Pilates equipment, to work on precise movement patterns in the Pilates method in that rehabilitation process. The benefit of doing Pilates with the therapy, um, the biggest benefit is to work on smaller muscle groups and precise movement patterns that you're going to get with using the Pilates method. In this method, if you just come in with low back pain, or you have some shoulder pain, or you have some other pains that aren't surgically repaired, um, the Pilates method is very effective in utilizing those smaller muscle groups that are attached from the core into the shoulders or to the hips to strengthen from the inside out. It very much works posture. In this day and age, posture is a huge thing with people, sitting at desks, keeping the head forward. Anybody can benefit from Pilates. Definitely athletes, performers, dancers, gymnasts, but you also people, chronic pain, back pain, shoulder pain, teenagers, even women going through um, pregnancy or postpartum can also benefit from Pilates. Pilates is for everyone, and including men, especially men. Men get tight as they age, um, decrease in flexibility in the hamstrings, in their spine. Now you have many professional athletes doing Pilates, LeBron James, Jake Arrieta, Antonio Brown, and they're finding the benefits of getting the elongation of the muscles and the strengthening and the balance and the control that helps them during their sport. And we are the only clinic in Fort Wayne that services both physical therapy and Pilates at the same time that you can get a Pilates based rehabilitation. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Sport One Parkview Ice House for week number week number 18. We will currently have only two more weeks left in the regular season, so we'll get things kicked off with a bit of a bang this week with our opening matchup between the Leo Lions and the Fort Wayne Bruins. Taking a quick look at to last week's scores, it was the Bishop Dwinger Saints defeating the Homestead Spartans by a score of 4-3. to three. The Leo Lions defeated the Summit City Panthers by a score of 6-2. to two. And the final, it was Carroll six, and the Fort Wayne Bruins one. We have a very tight race between the first three place teams for the Roy Chin Trophy, which is awarded to the team with the best record at the end of the regular season. Currently it is Bishop Dwanger and the Leo Lions tied for first, both teams with 27 points. And right behind them is the Carroll Chargers with 25 points. So a loss can be very bad for either one of these three teams as we round up the final three weeks. So it looks like Leo is going to be going with their usual starting line of Robbins, Speckard, Freebie, Dotweiler, and Bonecutter. And starting in goal for the Leo Lions will be number 70, Michael Baumert. And it looks like the Fort Wayne Bruins are going to start off with Steinforth, Jacob Scott, and Shank on the forwards. And it looks like it is going to be... Goaltender Steven Yeiser started in net for the Bruins. Head ref in charge for this evening is Cole Meyer, and we get things underway. Down at the near side, getting into the zone was Shank. Freebie over to Dotweiler. Pass goes through the skates, but he will get it out of the zone. So along the near side, Scott pressuring Freebie, and it's up to Speckhar to bone cutter. Bone cutter in the zone. He's boxed out there by Carter Minch. As Minch will wrap it around the boards to Scott. Scott takes it down low. Takes a bit of a fall into the near boards as this gets wrapped around to Lucas Robbins. Down to Bone Cutter. And he will be poked to the puck as that comes to the point. Dotwell will send it back down low 
as Bonecutter picks it up behind the net. Bonecutter fanning on the pass, decides to go back down low. That is going to be played by Studebaker. And Shake now has possession. Steinford off the boards and inside the Leo zone. Freebie with possession. And he will shoot it down the ice to Bonecutter. Bonecutter, he leaves it for Leroy, but he's tied up. And here come the Bruins. Into the zone, a shot goes into the glove of Bomber, and he will hang on. Easy save with 13 of 43 left in the first period. So off the tie up, we will have it now played by Leedy. And Leedy gets it up to Leroy Pass, cannot be completed as it is now going to be played by Butler. Butler behind the net now, pressured once again by Leroy as Leedy now gains possession. Off the boards to Schlosser, Schlosser shoots it, that's tipped in front. And that's gonna be knocked away by Backstrom. Robinson coming down the far side, he gets a hit there from Schlosser. <coughs> Excuse me, Leedy now has possession. Gets it up to Logan Robbins. He's scaring it into the zone. Robbins with the shot. And he'll score. Five hole on it. Yeiser. Er, excuse me. Looks like they decided to change it at the last second. It's actually Ricky Foster in net. And uh, it is Leo taking the one to nothing lead. So does Logan Robbins get the scoring started early for the Lions? 1-0 as he went 5 hole on goaltender Foster. And we will have a faceoff inside the Leo zone. So off the draw is now going to be sent down low by Daly as it is now tied up and played by Sherman out to the point. Coins gets it out as far as center ice. Claws are pressured by Daly. It looks like Jackson Mitch gets a little bit into the zone before it's set back out by Robinson. And it is now gonna be played at center ice by Parker Ray. Butler with possession, he is chased down by Goins, and Goins will send it inside the Fort Wayne zone. To be played by Carter Minch. Dotweiler able to keep it in, gets it over to Bonecutter. Bonecutter trying to get around, he loses his stick on the deke. Freebie with a shot from the point, that gets blocked by Carter Minch, as he will wrap it around the boards to be kept alive by Dotweiler but it is sent out by the glove of Sherman. And bone cutter with possession inside the Fort Wayne zone. That will go just above the net. And Steinforth wraps it around. So Steinforth now with possession. He'll carry it down the far side. Dotwater with possession for the Lions. Ends up turning it over. And here come the Bruins. Steinforth gets it down low. Stopped by Bomber behind the net. <laughs> <laughs> As here goes Bone Cutter down the far side, gets it over to Speckhard. Speckhard in the zone, he loses it in his feet. As that's now played behind the net. The wraparound attempt goes through the crease and wide. Another shot is saved by Foster, and Foster will hang on. 11 06 left in the first period. It is still 1 to nothing, Leo. So now to the draw, that's going to be to the right of Foster. Tied up on the draw was Robbins, who got the go-ahead goal. As he now plays it along the far corner, tied up by Jacob Scott, and Stratton comes down to assist. Schlosser unable to keep it in the zone. He decides to backhand it back in. As that's off the boards, and now played by Logan Robbins. <coughs> Excuse me.
Now played down inside of the Leo zone. This comes Stratton around them to the near side. He gets it up ice to Leedy. Leedy gets it up to Connor Hayes. That goes off his stick and inside the Bruins zone. Studebaker backhands it to Scott. Scott over to Schoen. That is stolen and a big hit there as Foster covers the puck with 10-11 left in the first. And once again, I do apologize for my cough. I am coming off the tail end of the sickness that I had last week towards the ends of the second game. And unfortunately, I still have a little bit of a cough, but I am fighting through it and hopefully it will not get in the way too much. So down low, Carter Minch with possession. He will wrap it around the boards to be played now by Park. Park sends it across the ice. That is now going to be played by Glauser, who sends it back down low as it's now tied up just outside of the near corner. Show with possession. We have a penalty coming up to the Bruins, or excuse me, to the Lions. That is sent down ice by the Bruins. And... It is now going to be played off the whistle, and we will see what we have on the penalty. So it looks like Clauser is going to go to the box for roughing. This will be the Bruins' first opportunity on the night. And the Bruins currently sit second in the league with a power play success rate of 20%. Reby will shoot it down ice off the draw. As Foster stops it behind the net and a big hit there on Speckhard behind the net as he ends up hitting one of the Bruins offense. Robinson with the shot, that will be blocked in front. A shot from Carter Minch is saved by Ballmert. This week's tied up by Robinson along the near side. Bone cutter with possession. He decides to carry it down on the near side, cuts to the middle, a shot that goes just above the net. And now it will land on top of the net and play is whistled down for a dead puck. One nineteen is left in the penalty to Clauser. 8.57 left in the first period. A faceoff will be just outside of the Bruins zone. And that's going to be a faceoff win for Jacob Scott. Steinforth over to Scott. Gets it back into the defensive end. And he gets it back to Scott. Scott retreats into his own zone. Over to Studebaker. Let's turn over there to Logan Robbins. Robbins drops to Stratton who will flip it back down nice. Studebaker backhands it out of the zone to Shank, who will carry it back in. That's over to Scott and a turnover there at center ice. Steinforth, <coughs> excuse me, with possession, just inside the zone. And here's Shank, Shank trying to get through Stratton. And looks like we're gonna have a penalty on the play. Shank going in to poke at the glove of Palmer, ends up getting a slashing call. So that will negate the power play to the Bruins and the Lions will end up having a minute 31 on the power play once they get their man out of the box in 29 seconds. Ray ends up turning it in to an advantage for the Bruins, and Robinson shoots it down ice. That will be whistled down for an icing, and the faceoff will come all the way back inside the Leo zone. Yeah. 
So Bonecutter wins it back to Lucas Robbins. He will carry it to the far side. Tries to get it up to Bonecutter. That is stolen by Jackson Mitch, but he loses possession, and Speckhardt goes up the near side. Speckhardt a shot. That will go over the netting and out of play. One second left in the penalty to Clauser. A minute 32 left in the penalty to Shank. 7.09 left in the, or excuse me, 7.39 left in the first period. And a face off inside of the Bruins zone. Jackson Minge wins the draw back for the Bruins. And that is now going to be played by Daly. He turns it over at the point to Freebie. Freebie down low to Logan Robbins. Bonecutter over to Robbins. Back to Bonecutter. Bonecutter behind the net gets that to Lucas Robbins. Lucas walks the line, takes it down low. Over to Freebie with the shot. That's going to be blocked. The shot scores! Carter Bonecutter, it's a power play goal as he banks in just off the side of the net. 2-1 Lions. So 2-0 in favor of the Leo Lions as they get two up on Foster already. And Scholl takes Stratton out of the play and the Dawson comes down to hell. We will have a penalty called on the play. Unsure of who's going to the box. It looks like it's going to be number 96 for the Bruins. That is Braden Scholl. So a cross-checking call on the play to Scholl. Leo back to the power play. They are one for one on the night. As is now Lucas Robbins getting it over the freebie up to Speckhard. Leo's number one power play unit out on the ice. Speckhard down low to Bonecutter. Bonecutter out to Lucas Robbins at the point. He will get it down to freebie along the far side. Freebie trying to get across crease pass. That is stolen by Butler and he will shoot it down nice. Bomber playing it now for the Lions to Lucas Robbins. Robbins, pass the freebie, goes into skate. Speckhard ends up getting there for the Lions. He's pressured by Butler, as it is now going to be played by Logan Robbins over to Bonecutter. Bonecutter down to the point, over to Lucas Robbins. Robbins, over to Logan Robbins. Back to Lucas Robbins. Drive with a shot block by Speckhard. It's back to Lucas Robbins, that comes out of the zone. So Leo has to regroup. So back inside the zone comes Leedy. Gets it to Schlosser. Schlosser a shot. That is going to be saved by Foster. This is now played by Ray at the point. His shot is blocked in front. Goins with possession now for the Lions. He is sent down to the ice. And here come the Bruins, shorthanded. That is going to be sent down ice by Taylor. Balmert stops it behind the net, leaves it for Parker Ray. And Ray gets it up to Goins. Ten seconds left in the penalty to Scholl. That is now going to be played at the point by Ray. A shot will go into the glove of Foster, and Foster hangs on. 4.59 left in the first period. It is still 2 to nothing in favor of the Fort Wayne Bruins. Or excuse me, of the Leo Lions. <gasps> no. 
So off the draw it is now going to be played along the near side as the Bruins return to full strength. Here is going to be Lucas Robbins. Robbins down to Speckhard behind the net. Speckhard with possession. He gets it stolen, and here come the Bruins. Backstrom with possession. He will backhand it into the zone. And play now along the far corner by Parker Ray, tied up by Sherman. Studebaker knocking it down, bone cutter, and go. Going the other way is the Lions. Sholwin knocks it away from Speckhard as bone cutter gets it back down to Freebie. Freebie up ice to Speckhard as he backhands it into the zone. Played now by Sholin. Sholin wrapping it around the boards to be played by Dotweiler. Bone cutter with it now down in the near corner. He will backhand it on net. Sticked away by Foster. So down to the point. Dotweiler trying to get it back into the corner. That is gloved down. <coughs> Excuse me, Dotweiler will shoot it back into the zone. Sholin with possession, he gets it up ice to uh, Robinson. That's now played by Leedy over to Scott. And here comes uh, Logan Robbins. Robbins pressured and knocking down Robinson. And the shot there is going to be cleared away by Sholin. Robinson shaking up on the play. That is going to be sent down ice for the icing by Studebaker. The faceoff will go all the way back inside of the Fort Wayne zone with 3 of 6 left in the first period. Grossman to the draw for the Lions. That is going to be tied up and won by Jacob Scott as he takes it to the near side. Played it now by Steinforth. He is pressured off by Schlosser. Goins with it now for the Lions. A shot goes into the glove of Foster, and Foster hangs on. So faceoff remains inside of the Fort Wayne zone. It's going to be to the left of Foster. That's going to be another win for the Bruins. Steinforth with the draw win there. Jacob Scott gets it over to Butler as Butler gets it inside the zone. Z is boxed out by Schlosser. Grossman over to Leroy. Leroy. Throws it inside of the Bruins' end. And that's now going to be played by Jacob Scott. Scott trying to get it up ice as it is now played by Steinforth. Steinforth cuts to the middle. Backhand on net. That goes wide. Shank out to the point. Mitch to drive, save, and a rebound opportunity cleared away by Parker Ray. Speckard up to Bone Cutter as he will carry it into the zone. He gets around the defense, but a good hip check there. Keeps him from cutting back to the middle as he goes behind the net to the far side. Robinson a shot. That is blocked by Carter Minch. This is now going to be carried down ice by Jacob Scott. Scott backhands it through the crease. Nobody there for the Bruins. Shank gets it to the point. And that is poked out by Lucas Robbins inside the Fort Wayne zone. Down behind the net, Robbins is over to spec card, and a shot there is saved and held onto by Foster. A minute 20 left in the first period. We are still at 2 0 for the Leo Lions, and a face-off inside of the Fort Wayne zone, and this is to the right of goaltender Foster. So off the draw is now going to be played at the point by Freebie, as that's down into the slot, a shot by Leedy is a save, rebound, and that is the score!
That might be Logan Robbins' second of the night. As that was put home, it is 3-0 in favor of the Leo Lions. So back inside the Fort Wayne zone it comes. As is now played by Studebaker behind the net. Leedy takes possession. One minute remaining in the first period. Robbins trying to hit Grossman at the slots, but that is sent wide. And Schultz will get it inside the zone for the Bruins. Freebie off the glass to the point. Showing the shot, gloved down by Logan Robbins. And here come the Lions leading. He is poked by Studebaker. Along the near side, and that will be a block shot. A shot from Park is saved by Baumert, and Baumert hangs on. So 21.7 left in the first period and off the draw is gonna be played in the near corner. Stratton tying it up. Stratton over to Hayes, that's in his skates. And Park with the shot, that's saved and Bomber will hang on. The face off will stay inside of the Leo zone. It's going to be a win for Lucas Robbins. This is going to be played down low by Stratton. Behind the net. Ends up knocking down Scholl on the hit. That does it for the first period. Leo will take a 3-0 lead into the second period. And we will be right back with the second period right here on SummitCitySports.com. And don't forget, today's broadcast is brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260sports, that is 260sports. Like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Sports Medicine, it's game on. Our elite team of experts in orthopedic surgery, athletic rehabilitation, nutrition, and sports performance coordinate your care all along the way. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. Parkview Sports Medicine continues to lead the way in Northeast Indiana with our new Parkview Ortho Express Clinic, offering direct access to physicians and Saturday morning clinics that are convenient for you. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. If you're an athlete or the parent of one, you want to check out Parkview Sports Medicine. We serve every level of athlete with our sports nutritionist, our expert physicians at ONE, and the area's only specialized athletic rehab. To learn more, go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com and click on the services tab. AWP Sports finds the athlete's purpose beyond athletics, the industry leader in sports performance for over 10 years in Northeast Indiana. You can find out more by clicking on the services tab at the top of this. It doesn't matter. So back for the second period where Leo takes the three nothing lead into the second period and off the draw, a tie up and that's won by the Lions. Here comes a shot. That will go just wide. That was from Lucas Robbins. Down low is now going to be played up ice by Daly, and Daly trying to break away. A shot off the pad, rebound, and a beautiful save! He robbed him blind! Call the cops! Barmer robbed him off in the second chance. Bomber with the original pad save left a rebound way in the high slot. He gets over, flashes the leather on another Fort Wayne player, and that makes a save. And here come the Lions, two on one opportunity. Over to Boca, a shot that goes through the crease. 
Schlosser a shot, that is blocked in front. Stratton gets it down low to Bonecutter. Bonecutter along the far side. Is that sent around the boards to be played by Lucas Robbins? Down low, Lucas Robbins with possession. And the shot goes off the shoulder of Foster. Bonecutter is pushed into the corner. And Jackson Minch comes in to help. As that's going to be sent around the boards by Carter Minch into the feet of Lucas Robbins. Sherman trying to get out of the zone. Speckhart ends up stealing it as he was stumbled on the hit. And a big hit there by Carter Minch. As that will now be played by Shank inside the Leo zone. A shot that goes just wide. And a big hit there once again by Carter Minch as that comes out of the zone. Studebaker with possession gets it over to Shank. Shank carries it down low into the slot. Dangerous move as that comes up to, Bo to uh, Studebaker. Studebaker inside the zone. He is bumped off the play by Schlosser. Steinforth with the shot. That goes above the net. Shank over to Steinforth and Bomber hangs on. 12.51 left in the second period. So, face off inside the Leo zone. That is a win by Jacob Scott and a shot that goes way above the net. That's now played on the far side. And at the point here now is Robinson for the Lions. Robinson turns it over at center ice. Here is Shank inside the zone, play on side. Shank over to Scott, Scott a shot. That goes off the side of the net. Walmart may have gotten a piece of it. Logan Robbins with possession. He gets it inside the zone, loses it on the stick handle. He's taken down and we will have a tripping call. And player nodding his head in agreement. So Leo back to the power play. Studebaker goes to the box for tripping. This will be Leo's third opportunity of the night. They are one for two. So off the draw is now going to be played by Logan Robbins out to freebie. A shot tipped in front by Speckhard. That goes above the net. This is now tied up and played at the point by Lucas Robbins. A drive, and that goes above the net. Raby with possession now. He gets it over to Logan Robbins. Out to Lucas Robbins. That goes off the skate and out of the zone. Bad bounce there for the Lions. Logan Robbins with possession. He carries it inside the zone. He will give it to Speckhardt, who carries it into the zone. And Freebie with possession along the near side. Robinson will end up shooting it out of the zone for the Bruins. Lucas Robbins with possession. Logan Robbins over to Freebie. Freebie up. Ice trying to hit it to Logan Robbins. But that is now tied up along the far side. And it finally comes loose. Freebie with possession. Freebie up to Lucas Robbins. Robbins hits his brother. But that is intercepted by Schultz. Lucas Robbins down to Freebie. 35 seconds left in the power play for the Lions. Freebie. 
Up ice pass to Speckhardt. Speckhardt inside the zone. Speckhardt with it now, trying to get out to the point. Leading with the shot. That goes off the stick of Grossman. And Grossman forced to play it. <coughs> Excuse me. And faceoff will go all the way back down as Grossman played the puck with a high stick. So off the draw is now played behind the net by Stratton. Gets up to Goins. Pressure along the near side, gets it inside the zone. Carter Minch gets it out. Power play over for the Lions. Jackson Minch comes into the zone. <coughs> Excuse me, he is bumped off the play. And here come the Lions. Parker Ray coming down the ice. And he will have a penalty called on the play. So Carter Minch goes to the box. Another Leo power play. He goes for tripping. His fourth opportunity on the night. <laughs> Referee giving an explanation to the Fort Wayne coaching staff on why he called the penalty. So, face off inside of the Fort Wayne zone. That's side up in the feet. Here is Logan Robbins down to Freeman. Number one power play unit out for the Lions once again. Lucas Robbins down to Bonecutter. Bonecutter with possession. He'll carry it behind the net. He stops, goes back the other side. Bonecutter out to Logan Robbins. Robbins out to Lucas Robbins. A shot that was off the skate, and that's cleared away by Studebaker. Lucas Robbins with the shot. It's loose in the crease, and that is cleared away by Butler. But Lucas Robbins still has possession. He drops it to Bone Cutter. Bone Cutter out to Speckhardt in the slot, and a shot goes just to the glove side of Foster. Bone Cutter still with possession. He is tied up by Studebaker, and Speckhardt comes down to help. Freeby with possession, now gets it over to uh, Lucas Robbins, back to Bone Cutter. Out to Lucas Robbins. Back down to Bone Cutter. Bone Cutter, out to Lucas Robbins. Over to Logan Robbins. He can't handle the pass here, Speckhard. Speckhard can't handle it either. That's in around the boards. Freeby gets it back down low, played by Sp Bone Cutter. He's tied up by Butler. Bone Cutter, shot, save, and a rebound cleared away by Butler, and Robbins unable to keep it in the zone. 38 seconds left in the power play. Delayed offside for the line, so they have to come back. And Butler will shoot it back down the ice. As that's now played by Freebie. Studebaker with possession. He'll shoot it back down the ice. As Freebie now has possession for the Lions. A stretch pass finds Grossman. Here comes Lucas Robbins. Robbins trying to hit Grossman. That's loose in the crease, and Foster finds it and covers the puck. Eight seconds left in the second period, 8.03. Eight seconds left in the penalty to Carter Minch. 8.03 left in the second period. We still sit at three to nothing. So that is won by the Bruins and sent down ice by Shank. That will do it for the power play. Leo currently one for four on the main advantage, only sitting at a 25% on the night. The 
along the near side. It is now going to be played by Backstrom as he gets it inside of the Leo zone to be played now by Parker Ray. Ray off the boards, intercepted by Steinforth. Drop pass to Scholand at the point. He wraps it around the boards, back to Steinforth. Steinforth looking for an open man, gets it out to Scholand at the point. Scholand a shot, that's blocked in front. Here come the Lions. Clauser inside the zone. And a play, whistle down for an offsides. Lions been ruling that the player beat the puck in, so offsides called on the Lions. 7-13 left in the second period. Face off just outside of the Fort Wayne zone. That's going to be a win for Bone Cutter. And Freebie shoots it into the zone. So along the far side, that's going to be played now by Dotweiler. He gets it down low. Played now by Steinforth. Steinforth looking for Backstrom. Pass cannot be completed. That will go the distance. Icing called on the Bruins. So face off back inside the Fort Wayne zone. It's going to be a win for the Lions. Freebie a drive, and that's into the glove of Foster, and Foster hangs on. <laughs> Daly winning the draw and almost puts it in his own net. Heavy win there for the Bruins. Bone cutter with the shot that goes off the mask of Foster. It's loose. Cleared away by Jackson Minch. Minch up to Sherman. Dotwell with possession off the skates of Sherman. Played now by Jackson Minch. Along the far corner is now going to be played and sent up ice by Bonecutter. Bonecutter loses it on Abdique, and he will now have possession freebie over to Dotwell. Pass cannot be completed. Bonecutter gets it inside the zone. And plays whistle down for an offside. From our angle, it looked like the Leo player had touched up on the line, but the officials say no. We have an offside goal. So off the draw it is now going to be played by Sholand. It's now played by Lady, who gets it inside the zone. Leedy trying to get around Scholl. That's going to be knocked away by Scholl as he sends it around the boards. Park, turnover. But it is played by Dawson. Dawson up to Scholl. Scholl backhands it further into the Leo zone. This is now played by Logan Robbins. Robbins coming down the far side, intercepted by Scholl. As he backhands it over to Dawson. Dawson back to Scholl, wraps it around to Park. Stratton with possession. He banks it off the boards down to Fakani Scott. Leedy trying to get it out to the point. Stratton a drive, and that scores off the post and in. That is Stratton's goal, 4 nothing in favor of the Leo Lions. So it's pretty much all Leo on the scoreboard at 4 0. 5 12 left in the second period. And if Leo can get one more goal and held it at 5 0, we will have running clock in the third period. Ray over to Logan Robbins. That is going to be tipped into the zone by Fakani Scott. Here comes Leedy. As that's now poked away and played along the near side. Logan Robbins just barely keeps it in the zone. Sholin gets it out to be played now by Parker Ray, who will get it back in. 
And Sholin plays it and gets it back out to Jacob Scott. Scott throws it on net, sticked away by Baumert. Sholin with possession, a shot. That will go wide. Jacob Scott down to Studebaker. Steinforth down. Gets possession. He'll get it back to Sholand at the point. Sholand the shot. That goes wide. Studebaker with possession now. A shot that's kicked away by Baumert. We will have a penalty called on the play. Not sure of the call. It looks like they're calling a penalty on Bomber for holding the stick. So Grossman has to sit for Baumert. Baumert gets a penalty for holding the stick of one of the Fort Wayne players. So the Bruins will end up getting a power play. This will be their second opportunity of the night. They are currently at 0 for 1. So off the draw is now going to be shot out of the zone, but kept at the blue line by Studebaker. At the point, Studebaker gets it down low to be played by Stratton. He banks it off the boards and that time gets it out. Here comes Speckhard. Speckhard has it behind the net. Killing as much time as he can. Speckhard gets around Backstrom, still with possession. Backstrom pokes it and comes away with it. Up to Steinforth. Steinforth off the boards. That is now going to be inside the zone. That is now played by Robinson, he gets it out of the Leo territory. Jacob Scott hits the skate of Steinforth. It's a turnover for Speckhardt, and the shot is blocked by Studebaker. Speckhardt down to Bone Cutter. Bone Cutter with the shot off the helmet, rebound, and that is still loose. Speckhardt unable to get it home. Jacob Scott up the near side, cuts to the middle. Scott with the shot, scores! A power play goal for the Bruins. As they get on the board, that is Jacob Scott's goal. So Jacob Scott finds the solution to Baumert. Puts it in on the power play, and it's now four to one. Two fifty four left in the second period. We now sit at four to one, and Leo now sits at two goals away from the running clock. And the Bruins look to get that back under control and tied up. Down along the near corner it is now going to be played by Leedy. And Leedy bumped off by Jackson Minch. Here is Logan Robbins. Robbins, that's a leady, leady a shot. What a save by Foster. Foster just gets the pad down in time. Here is Logan Robbins. Held up by Butler. Butler banks it off the glass. Gloved down by Parker Ray. And now Daly gets it up to Sherman. Sherman breaking away. The backhand hits the crossbar. The Bruins within a quarter of an inch of time, or excuse me, of getting this game to a two goal deficit. But iron unkind, and here comes Sherman once again. Sherman a shot, that goes in the glove of Bomber, and Bomber hangs on. 
So Foster with a big save to keep this where it is, getting the pad down just in time as he was on the goal line with the save. And then the Bruins go down the other way. A backhander by Sherman finds the crossbar. So some big luck coming for both goaltenders off that sequence. Behind the net now is Josh Robbins. Robinson, and here comes Bone Cutter. He flips it on net, that goes off the shoulder of Foster and into the corner. Speckhart out to the point for Dotweiler. Dotweiler's shot. They rule a high stick for the Lions. The Bruins touch up, so no whistle. And a shot goes off the crossbar. Yet another post there. And a faceoff will be inside the zone. So faceoff will be inside of the Fort Wayne zone. The win there by the Bruins. This is now played by Dotweiler. His backhand is taken by Studebaker as he is poke checked. And here comes Lucas Robbins. Speck a shot in the glove of Foster. Foster laying on. Face off remaining inside of the Fort Wayne zone. Grossman down low, gets it out to the point. Dotweiler unable to handle it. As that is now played by Balmert. Balmert around the boards to be played now by Dotweiler. Carter Minch gets it down to Sherman. That's stolen, and here come the Lions. Three on one for Leo. Robbins, good play there by Carter Minch, laying down to cut off the pass. And Leedy backhands it on net. That's sticked away by Foster. And Carter Minch backhands it out of the zone. Gottweiler over to Logan Robbins. Robbins backhands it with a little bit of a saucer pass. That finds the skates of Robinson. And here come the Bruins. A shot off Pat of Baumert. Freebie. Played now, he is bumped off. That does it for the second period as Leo will take a four to one lead into the second intermission. And we will be back with the second intermission highlights right here on summitcitysports.com. And don't forget, at Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. Our elite team of experts in orthopedic surgery, athletic rehabilitation, nutrition, and sports performance training offers athletes coordinated care and instant access at the new Parkview Ortho Express Clinic located inside the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse. Also, Parkview Sports Medicine is the new go-to for local sports with scores and highlights for all area schools. Parkview Sports Medicine wants to celebrate the accomplishments of athletes on and off the field. Check it out at parkviewsportsmedicine.com. To make Parkview Sports Medicine a part of your team, give us a call at 266-4007 or log on to parkviewsportsmedicine.com. We'll be right back right here on summitcitysports.com. Friday Night Lights. Fort Wayne football from the comfort of your own home or when you're on the go. The same night the pigskin touches the end zone or is stopped dead in its tracks. 10 teams, five games, one website, summitcitysports.com. Live stream high school games, score updates, and news hub for all Fort Wayne area athletics. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and summitcitysports.com. Family 
birthing centers with everything you need for baby, plus birth planners, expert physicians, midwives, and more for you. I'm a Parkview mom. You can be too. Learn more at parkviewmom.com. It's the comments. Comments falling from the sky. 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 Center into the slot to Esther, but it's broken up by Scott. He should hit stars. Now the sticks are up, and now this is bad news. Everyone going at it down here in the corner. Fort Wayne the High. Prong with the sneak. Six teams. Bone cutter to Ryan Freeby with the shot from the point. He scores. Live stream games new this season. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and SummitCitySports.com. How do you design one of the most advanced ERs in the country? At Parkview, we did it by focusing all our attention on you, the patient, by involving doctors and nurses in the design process, by creating quieter, more private spaces, and by leading the region in heart, stroke, and trauma care. This is not your typical emergency room. It's Parkview. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? Parkview, your partner in health. Thank you for supporting Summit City Sports. For the last several years, we've provided the Fort Wayne community and beyond with coverage of a variety of sports, thanks to our title sponsorship from Parkview Sports Medicine. Since we began in 2015, our annual budget has covered the cost of videographers and commentators to over 300 plus games each year. New equipment and maintenance of that equipment, along with increased broadcast rights fees from the IHSAA. This season, we're reaching out to friends, families, and local businesses for additional sponsorships and donations. You can help us grow and get coverage to your favorite team or sport. A Summit City Sports sponsorship or donation will help make that happen. We have the goal of bringing fans live stream games of every SAC game we cover. With the additional funds, we'd invest in mobile internet devices, allowing us to bring our supporters every SAC conference football, and boys and girls basketball games live, as well as more coverage for sports like cross country, tennis, golf, swimming, wrestling, track and field, baseball, and softball. For more information on sponsorships or how to donate, visit summitcitysports.com. While the expansion of the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse is enhancing the experience for athletes around the area, Parkview Sports Medicine is doing the same inside of the expansion, introducing the brand new Parkview Ortho Express Clinic, providing immediate access to the entire PSM team for athletes all around the region. We have this team that we can take care of them from the moment they come in, present with their injury, take them all the way through the to the point where they're ready to be back to the performance level that they came in pre-injury. We can provide just about anything that any of your walk-in clinics provide, but we definitely focus on musculoskeletal issues. The Ortho Express Clinic meets athletes where they're at and when they're playing. The entire PSM team will be at an athlete's fingertips. Additionally, the clinic houses the region's only DEXA body composition assessment and a sports dietitian who can work with athletes on their dietary needs. Some athletes, it, it might be a difference in um, their starting position. You know, it might, they might see a number and say, wow, you know, I had no idea that was my body composition. How can I change this? And sometimes just seeing numbers is, is more motivating than just talking about, you know, maybe their calorie amount that they're taking in. The advantage to having an Ortho Express clinic um, is the diversity of the hours. So people who have non-traditional work schedules should be able to get in. I think having athlete um, access on the athletic trainer side in the trenches, so to speak, and having them be able to get a hold of us or maybe send us a note and saying, hey, this patient's coming in, this is what I'm worried about, and it gives us a heads up. Whether it's the use of treatment tables, the radiology room, cold whirlpool tank, or the traditional exam room, the Ortho Express Clinic gives patients a seamless experience all under one roof. 
this is the type of facility you see in professional and in high level division one athletics where you have everything right in one place so if an athlete gets hurt playing basketball or volleyball on the other side within the same facility they can get their physical therapy or an x-ray if needed just to to rule out a fracture that's stuff you hear about in the NFL, stuff you hear about at high-level colleges where kids just went downstairs and got an x-ray at halftime. We can actually do that in-house now. So it makes us kind of a state-of-the-art, unique facility. And welcome back to the Partridge Sport 1 Ice House for the second intermission between the Leo Lions and the Fort Wayne Bruins where we currently sit at a score of four to one in favor of the Leo Lions. To get things started off, it was a five hole goal by Logan Robbins as they opened up the scoring just two minutes into the game and that put Leo up one to nothing over the Fort Wayne Bruins. Then later in the first period, it was Leo once again, this time coming up on the power play as a cross ice pass to uh, Carter Bonecutter gives Leo the two to nothing lead on the power play with seven to 10 left in the first period at that point. And then with just under two minutes remaining in the first period, a chance by Logan Robbins. Looks like he got a spin around pass as it got to Grossman. It looks like it might actually be Grossman's goal. Originally I said it might have gone to Logan Robbins, but looks like on the replay, as it looks like it might be Grossman's goal. But either way, it put Leo up by a score of three to nothing. And then in the second period, we had a big save early on by Bongert as he had a shot off the pad by Daly. That found Sherman in the high slot wide open and Sherman ripped it on net, but Bomber got over and denied him the open net goal. And that kept the score at three to nothing. Then nothing happened really for roughly a good 10 minutes after that before we had a shot from the point go off the post and in. That was Stratton's goal. That put Leo up by a score of four to nothing with 5-12 left in the second period. And then finally a diving save by Foster and Jacob Scott ends up going coast to coast as he buries one on the power play Puts it five hole on Bomber for the four to one lead. That is where we currently sit as we are currently in the middle of the second intermission between Leo and the Bruins. And that does it for our recap of the goals right here on Summit City Sports. Ladies and gentlemen, Big Eyed Fish supports Fort Wayne Area Athletics and has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Originally located at historic 1502 North Wells Street, you can also visit their locations at 3001 Hillegas Road and their Express North location at 10380 Leo Road. Big Eye Fish has a 4.3 star rating out of 5 with over 215 Google reviews. Find us at OriginalBigEyeFish.com and BigEyeFishExpress.com and like our Facebook page for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment at Big Eyed Fish.
The Fort Wayne Comets have won nine championships in 65 years of calling Fort Wayne home. The Comets have attracted over 1.2 million fans to the Coliseum over the past four years with an average attendance of over 7,500 fans per game. For game and phone tickets, go to Comets.com. You can also follow the Comets on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Remember, not just hockey, it's Comets hockey, the hottest ticket in town. And we will be back with more of the third period right here on SummitCitySports.com. Pilates therapy is using the Pilates technique in a therapeutic um, way. Pilates itself is just using, um, we would use equipment, Pilates equipment, to work on precise movement patterns in the Pilates method in that rehabilitation process. The benefit of doing Pilates with the therapy, um, the biggest benefit is to work on smaller muscle groups and precise movement patterns that you're going to get with using the Pilates method. In this method, if you just come in with low back pain, or you have some shoulder pain, or you have some other pains that aren't surgically repaired, um, the Pilates method is very effective in utilizing those smaller muscle groups that are attached from the core into the shoulders or to the hips to strengthen from the inside out. It very much works posture. In this day and age, posture is a huge thing with people, sitting at desks, keeping the head forward. Anybody can benefit from Pilates. Definitely athletes, performers, dancers, gymnasts, but you also people, chronic pain, back pain, shoulder pain, teenagers, even women going through um, pregnancy or postpartum can also benefit from Pilates. Pilates is for everyone, and including men, especially men. Men get tight as they age, um, decrease in flexibility in the hamstrings, in their spine. Now you have many professional athletes doing Pilates, LeBron James, Jake Arrieta, Antonio Brown, and they're finding the benefits of getting the elongation of the muscles and the strengthening and the balance and the control that helps them during their sport. And we are the only clinic in Fort Wayne that services both physical therapy and Pilates at the same time that you can get a Pilates-based rehabilitation. So off the draw, we are now in the third period. This is now gonna play along the near side by the by Freebie. And Freebie gets it out of the zone. So now along the far side, trying to get it up to bone cutter was Robbins. This is now going to be played by Carter Minch. Minch wraps it around the boards to Shank. Back to Minch, a turnover in the slot. That's going to be gathered up and cleared out by Steinforth. The shot there is covered by Bomber, and Bomber will hang on. 14-16 left in. The third period. Off the draw, taken behind the net now by the Leo defense. Robinson looking for a cross crease pass, unable to get it completed. That is now played along the near side by Logan Robbins over to Stratton. Stratton around the boards, and that is now going to be played inside his own zone by Schoen. He backhands it over to Studebaker. Studebaker up ice, penalty coming up. It's going to be on the Lions. Robinson through the crease, and that is going to be played by Schoen. Schoen along the near side, down low. Ray touches up for the Lions, penalty called. Interference is the call.
That is gonna be cleared out of the zone by the Leo defense. Leroy is the one to go into the box for interference. This is now gonna be played by Bonecutter. Tied up behind the net. It's now gonna be played by Bonecutter. And Jackson Minch has it now for the Bruins. Minch. Over to Steinforth. Studebaker, excuse me. Now going to be played by Daly. Daly off the boards into the zone. Behind the net along the corner. He's going to be wrapped around the boards. Play whistled down. Face off will be inside of the Leo zone. As is now going to be Josh Robbins shooting it down the ice to be played now by Foster. Leaves it for Backstrom. He is pressured by Grossman. That is going to be knocked down by Steinforth. Steinforth up to Jacob Scott. Backstrom to Jacob Scott. Scott cut off by Grossman. He leaves it for Freeby. And Backstrom able to keep it in the zone. Back ends it to the far corner. Freebie will end up getting there and getting it down ice. Here comes Leedy. Leedy with the shot, and he is pulled down. And they're calling a penalty shot. So a penalty shot coming up for the Lions. Leedy hauled down on the breakaway. So referee going over the penalty shot procedure with our timekeeper and scorekeeper. And he will now go over the procedure with both the player and the goaltender. Rev gives the signal, and here we go. Leedy goes straight down the middle. Leedy with the shot, that goes above the net, and no goal. Foster doing a good job, cutting down the angle, making it difficult for Leedy to find an open area of net to shoot at. He decides to try to pick the top corner Ends up going way above the net. And the score will remain the same at four to one. Carter Minch wraps it around the boards. He played it now by Taylor. He's hauled down on the play. Here's Logan Robbins. Robbins out to Stratton. Stratton Pocheck here comes for Fort Wayne Bruins. Carter Minch falls into Bombert. And Robinson a shot. That hits the side of the net. Bomber playing a very dangerous game. He ends up getting there first, cutting off the angle. And it's now going to be played by Stratton. He backhands it out of the zone. That does it for the power play for the Bruins. Leo returns to full strength. Logan Robbins with possession. That's going to be chipped out of the zone. It looks like by Backstrom. Park, excuse me, is the one that chipped it out of the zone. And that will go all the way down for an icing. 11 to 13 left in the third period.
So off the draw, Freebie will put it back inside the Fort Wayne zone. And referee takes over for the linesman. He makes the call on the offsides. So off the draw is now going to be played into the zone by the Lions and now behind the net by Studebaker. Studebaker wraps it around the boards. And now here come the Bruins. Sherman into the zone, backhand, that goes wide. Palmer may have gotten a stick on it. Studebaker keeps it in the zone. But Robbins comes the other way. Lucas Robbins into the zone for Speckhardt, a shot that goes through the crease and wide. Lucas Robbins to Speckhardt, behind the net, tied up by the Bruins defense. Here's Scholin, stick lifted by Bonecutter. Bonecutter a shot, that goes just wide. Down low, freebie. Shot, that goes wide of the net. Foster may have gotten skate on it. Speckhard down, the two bone cutter. Out to Speckhard, can't handle the pass, so now Daly will shoot it down, but inside of the Fort Wayne bench. Nine at 51 left in the third period. We still sit at four to one. And a face off inside of the zone. Off the draw, that's one by the Bruins. Here comes Shank with possession. He is sent heavily to the ice by Glauzer. Glauzer going to the box for interference. So it is an interference call to Clauser. Fort Wayne back to the power play. This is going to be their third opportunity on the night. They sit at one for two currently. Speckhard to the draw and he will shoot it through the feet of Jacob Scott. Here comes Bonecutter. Bounty coming up to the Bruins. It looks like it's going to be Butler. So just seven seconds after they start the power play, the Bruins take a penalty. And now we have four on four hockey. Face off inside of Fort Wayne's zone. So off the draw, it is now going to be played by Shank. Shank trying to get it up ice. That's knocked down by Speckhard. He has it now behind the net, tied up by the Bruins defense. And here is Steinforth with possession. Steinforth up to Scott, gets it back to Steinforth. Here comes Bonecutter, Bonecutter over to Speckhard. Speckhard with a shot, that goes above the net and wide. Parker Ray unable to keep it in, here come the Bruins if they can get there. Josh Robbins for the Lions gets there first. <coughs> Man just knocked the puck away, here's Bonecutter. Bonecutter pressured by three Bruins at once. Here comes Jacob Scott for the Bruins. He comes to the middle, poke check there by Palmer. Cleared away, it's in the feet of Bonecutter. And that's gonna be sent down ice. Add inside his own zone, Dotweiler over to Freebie, up to Logan Robbins. Robbins. Checked by Carter Minch, has to regroup. 
Lose the shot. And play whistle down. Goaltender Bomber on a knee behind the play. Looks like he got shaken up on the collision when he came out and poke checked at Jacob Scott. So, while we make sure Bomber's okay, we will be right back with more action here on SummitCitySports.com. And looks like Bomber's actually going to be okay. Gets the okay from the trainers. And we will get ready for the continuation of the third period. So Bomber appeared to have been dazed when he came out and poke checked at Jacob Scott. He appears to be okay now. Faceoff will be just outside of the Fort Wayne zone. It looks like he's going to be going to the draw for the Lions and Bailey for the Birds. That's going to be won by Goins and Grossman. Trying to get it into the zone. That's in the pants of... Grossman, and that is into the zone now for the Bruins. Here is Studebaker. Studebaker behind the net now, gets it up to Taylor, can't handle the pass, and Freebie shoot it on net. And the Lions now return to full strength, have a seven second power play, and that will pretty much do it, and the Bruins will return to full strength. And now here comes Butler, just out of the box. He is hauled down by Freebie. And shot hits the back of the net. Now played along the near side. Goins trying to get it up to Bonecutter. Intercepted by Studebaker. He will shoot it down ice. Now played by Goins. Goins sends it down ice. Icing waved off. Now played by Studebaker. He wraps it around the boards. Played now by Lucas Robbins. Down to Bone Cutter. Bone Cutter held up by Studebaker. Bone Cutter gets to the middle, shot, safe, and Foster hangs on. So a save by Foster, and Foster hangs on. Six fifty-one remaining in the third period. A score of four to one. Jackson Minch wraps it around the boards. Now played by Lucas Robinson. Shot that goes off the back of the net, and Josh Robinson gets it back down low for the Lions. Now played by Lucas Robbins. Robbins out to Stratton. Stratton a shot that goes just wide. Now played by Lucas Robbins once again. Gets it to Speckhard. Out to Stratton at the point. He gets it back down low. Speckhardt down low to Lucas Robbins. Robbins with it now. Decides to cut to the middle. Gets around Scholl. Pressure now by Park. Jackson Minch with the hit. Lucas Robbins still with possession. Cuts to the middle. And Bonecutter's tip goes wide. And another chance by Bonecutter is gloved down by Foster, and Foster will hang on with 6.08 left in the third period. We still sit at four to one. So now off the draw is now gonna be played by Logan Robbins, a shot goes just above the net and is sent around the boards by the Bruins. This is now going to be played by Connor Hayes. 
Still tied up along the far side. Here comes the Bruins. As it looks like Steinfeld gets in the zone, but Jackson Mintz just barely beats him offside. Play whistled down. So we have a timeout called on the play. It's going to be for the Bruins. And we will be back with more of the third period right here on SummitCitySports.com. Fairview Sports Medicine, it's game on. Our elite team of experts in orthopedic surgery, athletic rehabilitation, nutrition, and sports performance coordinate your care all along the way. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. Parkview Sports Medicine continues to lead the way in Northeast Indiana with our new Parkview Ortho Express Clinic, offering direct access to physicians and Saturday morning clinics that are convenient for you. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. If you're an athlete or the parent of one, you want to check out Parkview Sports Medicine. We serve every level of athlete with our sports nutritionist, our expert physicians at O&E, and the area's only specialized athletic rehab. To learn more, go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com and click on the services tab. AWP Sports finds the athlete's purpose beyond athletics, the industry leader in sports performance for over 10 years in Northeast Indiana. You can find out more by clicking on the services tab at the top of this. So back at it now in the third period. The faceoff is going to be tied up by Jacob Scott and Steinforth trying to get it over. A bit of an odd formation for the Bruins. But here is Shank. Shank. And Studebaker to Backstrom. Backstrom up to Shank. This pass is cut off by Leedy, and Leedy puts it back inside the Fort Wayne zone. We play it now by Studebaker. Studebaker up to Scott. Stolen, the shot by Freebie is tipped on net. That's loose in the crease, but cleared away by Studebaker. Jacob Scott. Shank looking for a pick. Here's Jacob Scott. Scott around the boards to Shank. Shank cannot get a hold of the pass. Parker Ray sends it back inside the Fort Wayne zone. Good play now by Jacob Scott. Here come the Bruins. That's going to be cut off by Bone Cutter. Played now by Studebaker. Studebaker into the zone. Cut off by Ray and Speckhardt. Here is Steinforth. Steinforth comes around. That is going to be blocked by Freebie. Steinforth wraps it down low. Backstrom puts it back down into the corner. Shank with the shot. That is a save. <coughs> Excuse me, by Baumert. And Baumert will hang on. Off the draw, it's now going to be played by Josh Robinson, and he is pressured. Played now by Speckhard. Speckhard cuts to the middle, gets it up ice to... <coughs> Excuse me, Lucas Robbins, and that's now played inside the zone. Bone cutter down behind the net. Bone cutter, drop pass to Speckhard. Bone cutter with it again, it's loose in his feet, and that is going to sit just wide of the net. Off the boards, Josh Robbins keeps it in. Lucas Robbins with possession, with the shot, and a good save by Foster.
Foster looks to be shaken up on the play as well. And I think we're trying to find the missing puck. So, puck was found, play can continue. Face off inside the Fort Wayne zone to the right of Foster. Tied up by the Bruins, and here comes Fort Wayne. Taylor gets poke checked by Josh Robinson. We will have a penalty coming up to the Bruins. It's a slashing call. Excuse me, it's an interference call with 3.28 left in the third period. That will put a dagger into Fort Wayne's abilities to come back in this game as they go down for at least two minutes with 5-1-4 hockey. Tied up off the draw, it is now won by the Lions. Logan Robbins down to Freebie. Back to Logan Robbins, who wasn't expecting it. It's now going to be played by Bonecutter. Bonecutter trying to get across crease, but unable to do so. Tries it one more time. Shot safe. Spec hard rebound. It's going to be cleared away. Steinforth off the boards and inside the Leo zone. Racing freebie for the puck. Steinforth ties him up and unable to get a stick on it. He's now played by Freebie. Freebie. Play is intercepted by Jacob Scott and sent back into the zone by Scott. Bomber makes a stop behind the net. This is now going to be played by Freebie, who's pressured by Studebaker. A turnover, but a shot goes way wide. Another shot by Studebaker. Goes into the arm of Bomber, who hangs on. Play is whistled down. So faceoff will be inside of the Leo zone. Robinson against Leedy. And it's won by Leedy. Shank. But now it gets it over to Studebaker. And Studebaker gets it into the corner and he carries it behind the net. Still with possession. That is going to come out of the zone. And now played by Butler. Parker Ray gets it inside the zone. Play on side for the Lions. And Butler will take it to the far corner. Backhands it around to the near side. Cleared out of the zone. Bomber puts the glove down and covers the puck. Play was down with a minute 52 left in the third period. 23 seconds left in the penalty to Sherman. So off the draw, it's a turnover. Here comes Leroy. Leroy with the shot saved by Foster, and Foster will hang on. So a penalty coming up for the Bruins. It's going to be a hooking call. And the Leo coaching staff and as well as several teammates felt like they deserved another penalty shot on the play. But the referees disagree. And it's now going to be Carter Minch going to the box for hooking. 
And if this stands, the Bruins will be shorthanded the rest of the game. As a shot there by Logan Robbins goes wide. Robbins, the shot hits Studebaker in the hand. And that will drop straight in front of Foster who hangs on. Play whistle down. One second left in the five on three. A minute 47 left in the penalty to Carter Minch. So off the draw, that's gonna be a backhand into the glove of Foster. Foster hangs on. A minute 26 left in the third period. So off the draw once again is now going to be played by Logan Robbins. Robbins down low to bone cutter. Bone cutter down to Logan Robbins. Out to Lucas Robbins. Back to Logan Robbins. A shot that goes off the glass just above the net. Shank wraps it around the boards. Kept alive by Lucas Robbins. Robbins cuts to the near side with the shot that's in wide of the net. Low cutter shot that hits the outside of the net. And that will be sent down ice by the Bruins as Bomber leads it for Lucas Robbins. Lucas goes up the far side and inside the zone he comes. Drop pass to Bone Cutter. Leaves it for Freebie. He is poked. And play is going to be whistled down for an offside. So 25.4 seconds left in the third period. So off the draw, play will resume. And that is going to be a turnover inside of the Bruins zone. And here comes Fort Wayne Taylor. Taylor inside the Leo zone. Leaves it for Daly. Daly poke check by Stratton. Stratton off the boards and out. Five seconds left and that will do it. Leo will go on to defeat the Fort Wayne Bruins by a score of 4-1. to one. As Leo... With the win, claims sole possession of first place at 29 points. But up next will be the Bishop Dwanger Saints and the Summit City Panthers. So Leo hoping Summit City comes through for them to give Bishop Dwanger a loss so they remain in first place on the league standings with just two weeks left in the season. So once again, the Leo Lions will defeat the Fort Wayne Burns by a score of four to one. You have been watching the Fort Wayne Amateur Hockey Association High School Division week number 18 right here on summitcitysports.com.